Mr. Truck here with Kelsey McRobert. And today we're reviewing the 2014 Toyota Tundra Crew Max. It's new for 2014. It has all new sheet metal on the outside, new interior, the drivetrain exactly the same. What's our power, Kelsey? We got 381 horsepower to this, and there's a 401 torque on it. That's great. And the torque curve important on this one is it's a 3600 RPM, so it's a lower torque curve, which means you got power right off the bat, kind of like a diesel. The only one in this class of half tons that's lower is the Ford EcoBoost. It's like 2500. So this is a very good rating on this engine. Let's go drive. Why not? This Tundra Crewmax this is a very large crew cab, a lot of leg room, just a lot of overall room. I think it's the best uh, actually in the in the half ton class. Now, of course, the seat folds up, and you've got a you've got pretty good room on the floor. You can get some big screen TVs in there. So when we're parked, I've noticed that uh, in this nice big center console. I don't know about you guys, but I've got a lot of stuff that I haul with me. It's got some places for pens, tissues, and some business cards. There's a 12 volt at the bottom there too, so you can plug in your there chargers. Is. Any phones, if you can put a laptop or an iPad or something in there. Yeah. There's two on the dash, and an auxiliary cord and a USB port, so you can listen to any types of music you want. Along with the touchscreen radio and nifty little buttons you got everywhere. Really? Yeah, it's got XM radio. I like that. And you got, uh, I guess, control on the steering wheel for your volume. Oh, it's in the front. And then, yep, uh, yep. yeah. And then we got a telescoping steering or steering wheel, yeah. and it goes up and down awesome. just by one button. That's I need good. one of those. Yes, I like them. It's got I the see. four drives and knob, which is pretty mm -hmm. nice. Just a turn knob. Six speed auto, and you can shift the seats. Yes, heated <laughs> seats. I'm getting We're, spoiled. This is almost <laughs> December, so it's kind of chilly in Colorado. Well, should we go out and burn some rubber? See how fast this thing will go. We don't have a horse today, so yeah. we're gonna do, be a little crazier with the truck. We can go for a ride. Yeah, Why not? yeah, it's a push on emergency brake. I'm not really fond of push on, but that's what it has. Now, interesting about this combination is since it's this is the you know full size tender, they had a smaller one before this back in 2006. The 2007 model came out full sized with this 5.7 engine, and they've got a 430 rear end, which has always amazed me. The axle ratio on the rear end of this that's like what you would farm with, uh, which is uh, unusual. You don't find that in a half ton truck, you don't find it in a three quarter ton truck, you hardly can even find it in a one ton. Actually, to get a 430 axle, you have to go to a Ford F450 or a Ram 4500. So this is the uh, most axle ratio you're going to find out there, which helps with towing. It's kind of uh, all that's changing. You know, your most of your vehicles now in your half tons will come out with a, a 308, or if you're lucky, a 342, a 355. And if you order the right tow package, sometimes you can get it down to a 373. But a, a 430 is unheard of. And even in semis now, I imagine the most average axle ratio is a 383, maybe a 410, some 355s out there. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a machine that's made for towing, so we always have a trader hooked to it. And we're out, out here. Out my driveway. Yeah. <laughs> so do acceleration any way you want to do it, see what you think about the performance of this. No horses are in the back, so we're not going to give anybody a hard time riding back there. In a quarter of a mile, right turn. Oh, we have oh, navigation we on it too. Yes, I have no idea how to, how to get to navigation. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Let's see. I don't know. Next right, and then left turn. Uh -oh. I'll yeah. figure it out. Let's see. Okay, destination. Options. In four tenths of a mile, right turn Get onto Mount Sinus Avenue. There we go. We, go. we paused that puppy. <laughs> nice big screen, and I, I like the knobs. 
uh, you know, it still has the, the little toggle for the fan. I like knobs on everything, so I quickly grab it without even looking at it, and I know what I'm doing. And you can jump in a car at night and know what your, what your knobs are, try to figure out buttons is always a little tricky. And this, you know, it's got a lot of things that are, that are unique to it. The rear window goes all the way down. It's even got a, a defroster in it, but the whole glass goes down. So for journalists, it's great. You stick cameras at it, you do all those things, but that's, that's very unique with that, the rear sliding window. And this one also, new for 14, it's got adjustable headlights where you can actually change the angle of your headlights. So if you've got a heavy load and your tongue weight's squatting you down, you can get the headlights out of people's eyes because, you know, nobody likes to be flashed going down the road. And that's a new feature for 2014. It's got a 26-gallon fuel tank. You know, I have more, more gas the better, so, you know, I can get to that next cheapest place. But uh, it's hard to find big tanks in these half tons. And this is the, the, the crew cab. They call it the Crew Max. So you got a five and a half foot bed. I've also loaded my four-wheeler in here. And, you know, it, of course, I had to have tailgate down on a five and a half foot bed. But, it, you know, it, it had plenty of room everywhere. I just had to strap it down so it didn't fly out the end. Have you got a four-wheeler? Yep. Well, cool. Yeah, we've got three. <laughs> wow. Well, next time, in the next truck we get, we'll load horses and four-wheelers and everything else. Maybe some John Deere tractors. We'll stick yeah. them all in the back of this trailer. We can bring a nice flatbed trailer and load it with John Deere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's an idea. My flatbed goes about 8,000 pounds, you know, with the tractor waves. We can, use one, of the, we can use one of the little yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Because I pull it with my little 2,500. I know it's no different to, than hauling like two horses. Yeah, that's about right. That's uh, those small tractors are very handy. Now you're used to diesels, and this one, you know, with that 430 rear end, with that torque curve, it's clear down to 3600 RPMs. Very good torque curve for your power. How's this feeling? Do you feel? I mean, have you got a chance to accelerate much with it and see what you yeah. offer? You push on it, and it wants to go, and it goes. Yeah, take whatever you know these curves. If you want to take them faster, whatever you want to do for handling, see what you think of it, and then we'll do some stopping here after a while to get a room, see what the brakes are like. And for test purposes, we're only going to use the truck brakes because you never know on a trailer, you know how well they're adjusted or how well they're worn. So if you're trying to test the truck, you test the truck. See if it'll stop that trailer back there. Even if your cord were to bounce off and unplug, you still it'd be nice to know that. Will the truck stop the trailer by itself? Stopped at this one. Not a problem. Yeah, they're good sized brakes on this Toyota Tundra. Not a problem with stopping. We're probably about 5,200 pounds without horses in the back. So we're not anywhere near the maximum payload on this. It's 1,410 pounds in the bed, and then it's for the tow. For the trailer, it's 9,600 pounds, which is a pretty good sized trailer. That's about the right size trailer for a half ton class with a semi floating axle. Choosing roads with hills and it doesn't bog down like a lot of trucks do. It just keeps on chugging. Yeah, and that's you know that's attributes to that 430 rear axle ratio and that torque curve at 3600 that peak torque. All that keeps uh, keeps your power level right where you want it. How's the steering on it? I think this I don't know if this is electric rack and pinion. I'll have to look that up. It's good. It's, it's tight. It's whenever I move the wheel, it goes. Yeah. It, yeah. You don't have to wait for it. And the wheel's straight. I don't. I don't know. I get in some trucks, and the wheel's kind of off a little bit, and it's a little weird. But this one's straight. Sometime I'll try some off-roading. See if we can go out and find us some place to get stuck. I <laughs> have many places to get stuck up here. Oh, that's cool. Yep. We can go mudding. We can go climb through the mountains because we're 15 minutes away. Oh yeah. Anything we want to do. Awesome. We may have to take this trailer off and go go find some some hills. How does it fit you, the seat and all? You get everything where you want it? Yeah. It, all electric power's nice. <laughs> yeah. Kinda used to pulling used to pulling my seat forward. It's oh, nice yeah. to have the electric seats. Yeah, with Tilton Cruise you can get everything where you really want. I'm not sure if this has the power pedals. I'll look that up. I don't see a button for it. Don't. Well, it's got a nice windshield. The visibility, I think, is pretty good out of these. It is. You can see all four corners. Yeah, the seat pillar is a little thick back there in the corner. Almost not as bad as a mega cab, but this is one of the bigger crew cabs that may be the biggest in the half ton class. 
we're all trying to get that GM has made theirs larger for 2014. Ford made them larger, I think, in 2010. But you know, to get something like this, it's a car too that you're going to use it for family and, and hauling people and cargo. And you know, the crew cab is, is the most popular configuration. It's nice to have all that room inside and not have to stick everything out of the bed. Thank you. It's a five and a half foot bed. You're not going to load this thing full too much. It's also nice because I can fit people in the back seat and throw my dogs in the back. There you go. <laughs> Rather than put my dogs in the back and have no room for people. Yeah, and if you're, you know, if, you're, if the dogs are obnoxious back there, you roll down the back window and they can stick their <laughs> heads in here. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll see what's going on in the cab. Yeah. It's pretty quiet, too. Can't really hear anything. Well, the window doesn't make any more noise than, so to say, a regular window. Yeah. Well, Toyota's, you know, their big push all these years has always been, you know, quality, and that's, uh, that's about how well they, they hold their integrity. So you have a cab that sounds like this, it'll sound like this 10 years from now. The interior's new, and, you know, it is it is nice. You know, I, I'm, I'm more excited about when there's a drivetrain change or something like that, but the new sheet metal, it's a, it's a nicer look. They've got a newer model, higher than this. The limited model is one above this. I think it's the 1793 or 1783. It's about some ranch close to by where they have their their uh, factory for these. Is in San Antonio, Texas. It's actually made in the U.S. of A. Down in Texas, where the big truck country is. I wonder why they chose Texas. Big <laughs> state. <laughs> yeah, that's where all the trucks are. Yeah. And now we don't have horses, you know, if you want to swerve around all these bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely as quiet as, as you know, the better cars are. I like that you can turn the uh, backup beeper off. So when I do put my trailer on, I don't have to keep just hearing that beeper every time I back up. Yeah. yeah That's it's, nice. It's nice for parallel parking, but the rest of the time it's a pain to have around. Yep, it's got a nice interior. The wheels are nice and pretty too this year. Yes. And that reminds me, I've got to get a close-up of those wheels. <laughs> there you go, there's your reminder. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're black with the, with the aluminum on them, and I like that. So, I, you know, it's like an almost an asphalt gray. Which always worries me is, you know, when you got this close-up of a match to asphalt, they're going to see you at dusk and dawn. So, yeah, turn your lights on. Yeah. This is later today. I'd be sitting out on that lake shooting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty close to your house. You can be out here blasting a bunch of them. Dog retrieve, will they? Yep. Right. <laughs> the house out here. Yeah. They just, there's a pond right outside. So, if you're upstairs in the um, barn house, then you can shoot right out the back window, pull oh. right off. Well, that's handy. Go out before you go to work and blast a few. <laughs> Send the dog out there to go get them and... Yeah. Have a good day. A couple days ago, we had cows walking across the street down here. Yeah? Right here. Well, is this open range? Yep. Part of Colorado is. Yep. You, gotta, you hit them, you got to pay for them. It, it, yeah, as you see, that one's open. <laughs> yeah. Decided to take down the wire and let them go across the street. Yeah. <laughs> They'd be out there chasing those bicycles. <laughs> get a few Brahmas loose. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be worth watching. Yeah, we'd get that on video. Even the running of the bulls with the bicycles. Yeah, with the bicycles. When we need weight distributing hitch, we use the Anderson No Sway weight distributing hitch. This is a very simple system, easy to put on. It's a whole new design. Uh, we use it on a horse trailer, so I cut a little slot out of the fascia on top of the tongue. And it's not for uh, um, support, it's just uh, for looks. So we cut the little pieces out, put the brackets on. It's a chain type trunnion bar, which is an interesting way of doing it. It makes no noise, it's a very effective system, and it's easy for us to put on. Well, this is Kent, and... This is Kelsey. Signing off, and from MrTrick.com, we'll see you next time. Okay. Okay, you stand right there and take pictures. Go, Grandpa, go. That's not going to work.